Hello, this is Ichi Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Destiny of an Emperor. Let's head to the Tunnel of Wu. But before we do that, I want to sell some excess equipment. Let's see, with Zhao Yun, I want to give him the Splint Mail that I picked up last time, because he has immensely less soldiers than uh, Gunning has, and Zhao Yun would be the next most likely to uh, be hit by a physical attack. So yeah, let's get the, oh yeah, let's get the Splint Mail over to Zhao Yun there. And then, let's see, we picked up a weapon. Yeah, okay, so we got the battle axe. Yeah, let's get rid of that. Make sure you've got a whole bunch of Elixir Ds because we've got a long walk to go through. Not just on the overworld, but through the tunnel itself. So let's head on over there then. Let's see, on this side, let's see, right about here, go south, and we're there. I'm surprised I didn't get into a battle on the way there, but I'll count my blessings, especially after that huge battle before I'm a little ahead on my experience at the moment. So usually I'm still at like level 29 while I'm going through your ear. I might have Zhou Yu in my active party instead of Gunning, if that were the case. But, uh, no, no, I don't need to recruit this guy. I would rather not encounter other generals that can use Jameon. So I'd rather run into this guy instead. Also, I'd like to kill them as many times as possible. All right, after that battle, we took a lot of damage there. Normally, I might use some elixirs or a healing tactic. But at this point, I would rather wait a little bit on that if we get below a thousand well then i would definitely do that but as it is yeah just one big general there relatively easy to get through but uh yeah so far we're doing pretty good avoiding the generals that have jimmy on there what's that stuff on the left is that supposed to be like mud or something I mean, I'm guessing it's lava, because, of course, the floor is lava. But, I mean, it doesn't, like, really look like it or anything. But, in any case, yeah, that is, I think, the first instance where, if you walk on it, you will take damage. I, I forget exactly how much it is, because it's not really that important to worry about there. But, in any case... Yeah, we're, we're going to take damage across that, so I'm going to hopefully wait until I get that far to heal up. Now, if I go down below, that'll take us to the end. I don't want to go there just yet. I want to go over here to the floor of lava, I guess. Whatever we got going on here. Easy enough. And over here, we pick up the steel helmet there. And let's see, I also want to give that one to Zhao Yun. So yeah, let's get rid of the copper one. Whoops. Let's uh, try that one again. Get it to Zhao Yun. There you go. If that's my biggest stumbling block today, I will consider myself lucky. But uh, okay, let's get back across. All right. And then, yeah, we'll heal up if I can. Uh, let's see. Okay, so... Yeah, why don't we... Yeah, I, I definitely want to use Jin Zian. I'm just thinking... Yeah, why don't we uh, have everyone else go after Lu Ji? Normally, I wouldn't use Jin Zian this early in a battle. But because we're so low on soldiers, I really need to... Yeah, get my soldiers back on their feet. And as you can see, it'll restore all of us to max pretty much. Hooray! If I recall correctly, its base power is 4,500, which even at very high levels is still pretty useful because 
Uh, what is it? Yeah, but all I really want to do is keep my generals above 10,000 soldiers. But in this case, we only need the 1,000. So yeah, I want to try and show as many battles as I can, just to show you how you deal with adversity like that throughout the cave. But if it's just rebel forces, which is what you'll meet up with about 50% of the time, that makes it even easier. But alright, okay, so now, let's get back to the intersection. See the stairs on the right there, that's where we need to go. I don't even know if we'll get to the shiny thing in this cave that people were talking about. Especially if I keep getting into a battle every five seconds. Okay, maybe ten seconds. But in any case, alright. Yeah, even though there's water, like, on the floor there or something, we can't use water tactics in here. Even if you're right next to it. N not, not even with the floor of lava. That would be cool if, like, fire tactics could, I don't know, like, deal extra damage with lava. Just, like, set your enemies on fire with the lava in addition to the fire itself. That would be amazing. But sadly, no, we can't do that. I think you can get into random encounters on the lava. I mean, the only game I know where that isn't the case is Final Fantasy 1. Okay, so here, if you want to go to the end, take the upper stairs. If you want to waste your time on useless treasure, go this way. But yeah, there's a lot of uh, dead ends along this path with no treasure, and the treasure that we get is totally not worthwhile, other than to satisfy my OCD there. So yeah, don't bother going up there. Nothing to see over there. Oh yeah, I met up with another general I think I killed earlier or something. Well, whatever works. But, yeah, no point in recruiting them. Although, I think it is possible for us to encounter Zhu Gajin again. And if we do, I would like to recruit him so that I never have to fight him again. Because he can also use Jimmy on there. Well, at least we're not uh, taking too many bad hits. I haven't even had to use an elixir yet. But yeah, these guys, yeah, th or this one, yeah, nothing to worry about there. They just got a lot of soldiers. I'd be comfortable going all out if, like, I, I ha had a battle against, like, three guys like him. We would be fine. But in any case, yeah, just another elixir. Totally not worth it. Although, I'll, I mean, I'll probably use it at some point. But... Well, I guess we didn't even run into that many tough generals. Yeah, this, so far it's going a little easier than I would usually think it would. Hey, and after that, well, er, that battle, we gained another level. Finally up to level 31 to learn the final tactic of the game. Simeon, which is basically the same thing as Jimion, except for tactics. It blocks all enemy tactics. I don't think any enemies ever learn it. And it costs 17 TP, so it's not really as practical to use, as powerful as it might seem. There are times when I do use it, but I can't use it as often as, like, Jimion there. But in any case... So yeah, now that we're at level 31, and there's no more tactics to learn, the MTP that I have, that's it. That's all we're going to have for the remainder of the game. We can gain more levels, and thus more soldiers, for Tiger Generals, but as far as MTP goes, that's it. Usually, on average, you'll get like about 130, so I got a little lucky 
with that, but yeah, this is probably about as good as it's gonna get without going out of your way to like manipulate MTP gains. But can we find the shiny treasure in the tunnel? Find out next time on Let's Play Destiny of an Emperor. This is Ichi Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!